as you guys know i am a student in algeria and i came to algeria about four years ago i came to algeria in october 2016. algeria is a french-speaking country so basically when you come to do your studies here if you come from an english-speaking country like me you basically have to do one year of language which is french before you actually begin your studies I did my language year here in Oran at a university or institution which was called CEO Oran but it's under the University of Oran one. It was about six months, it wasn't a complete year and after that I finished and I was ready to begin my studies. So basically this is the place where I did my language from but unfortunately it was closed but once you open this blue gate there are classes on the left and the right side that is where we used to learn from. So when it was time for me to start my first year, Algeria has this system where they get to grade you according to your statement of results it's like an equivalence type thing where they get to equate your results your zambian results or whatever country you come from into their system and they can put you wherever they feel you can do best depending on the subjects that you did well in so when i came to algeria i wanted to do what is known as snb which is nature and life sciences or can be called biology basically the reason i wanted to do that is because i wanted to later on major into microbiology i really really wanted to do microbiology and when you're applying from zambia to come to algeria or whatever country it is if you're applying under the bazaaris committee like i did you usually pick a course for yourself that's actually the course that i picked from home to come and do here but when i came here things changed according to the equivalence of my results into the algerian system I think it's kind of showed that I was better doing engineering although I actually don't understand how that was possible because I didn't do so well in mathematics but I don't know how that thing works but yeah somehow it just came out that I was supposed to like be doing ST which is science and technology which is like the foundation for all engineering courses so there's this system where you when you come first year I think now it's different because now you don't have to apply but for us when we came to Algeria we had to like reapply for your courses again and so because this whole ministry process kind of takes time so it's like while you're waiting for the ministry to approve of your applications you have to start going to school because at the time Normally schools would have already opened. So I actually started going to school because I was so sure that I would get the course that I wanted. I started going to Usto, which is um, the Oran University of Science and Technology. When I started to do SMB Biology, I used to learn from here. So basically, it's like you have to learn from here. So when I started to These are the largest amphis in school, so yeah, we used to go in from here. And all the other departments come to write the exams from here, like you're playing large numbers. Yeah. So I learned there for like about two or three weeks. I actually learned there for quite some time but when we got our responses from the ministry things were different i had to change to st and the university was different it wasn't the same university i was at during my snb i had to change i had to go to a different university i had to start my first year at the university of Oran one that is where i did my first year under st which is science and technology this here is the library this is where we used to come and study and teach each other what differential equations <laughs> yeah but right now it's closed so can't go in can't show you anything but yeah basically that's the door this is where we used to sit and chill when it's break time and eat snacks, and eat snacks. <laughs> what's up it's me. This is uh, the spot where we used to take all our pictures, almost of our pictures. Because I think it was when the background was a bit blue back then. I don't know what happened now, but yeah. And then this is the library, the other side. And uh, this one is the. This is the block which has the classes. Where yeah. We used to learn from. Yeah. 
TDs. So, yeah, TDs and TPs. I hope one of the classes will be open so that I show you how it looks inside with the chairs and everything. So, yeah. So, let's go. I did the whole lot of first year Dutch university. Like first year, regardless of what type of engineering you want to do, whether it's civil, electrical, chemical, anything. But as long as it's under engineering, you all do the same ST. But the thing with Dutch university is it didn't have a lot of courses. They only had, I think, uh, Shemi, which is chemical engineering or processing engineering. That's the only course under engineering the school offered. So it had to be that I would either start my second year at a different university or I had to stay at Dutch university and do chemical engineering. I have always like had this thing with biology where I just love biology very very much and that's exactly the reason why I wanted to do SNB in the first place. So when I was thrown into ST, I had to find something that could be closest to something that I love. And so I discovered there was biomedical engineering at USTO, which is the same school where I started but then I was pushed back but you get what I mean. It was actually under electrical engineering so you could not apply for it as biomedical engineering you have to apply for it as electrical engineering so that is what i did i applied for a transfer went through so i changed universities in second year i started learning at the Oran university of science and technology famously known as usto So guys, this is Yusto, my favorite university to be at. Uh, I came here in second year. This is why I did my second year and third year. And these are classes. Well, not these ones specifically, but the ones the other side, where we, where I used to do my teachings. Yeah, and where I used to do my schools, I used to do them down. I will show you guys in a bit. <laughs> Most of my second year, I did my tutorials in classes like this. So, yeah, they're not this bad usually. They are always cleaned, but you know, because we closed and everything. Here is where you find all your second year results. This is the depressing part of when you're in second year. So this is uh, an amphi, A2, where I used to do most of my course. I always used to sit in front because, you know, I was... <sighs> in the exams, we did most of the exams here as well, so yeah. So I did my second year there. So for the whole lot of second year, I was just doing electrical engineering. Basically, I was doing electronics engineering. The only time I had a few of biology, like to actually feel like I'm actually doing biomedical engineering, it started in, I think, the last semester of second year when I had a module in medical imaging in anatomy and physiology. Yeah, I think that was like when things actually started kicking in. But before that, I actually just felt like I was doing a lot of electrical engineering. 
I did the whole lot of second year. I finished and I managed to go into third year. And when I entered my third year, it was almost the same thing really. There was so much electrical engineering stuff that was like breaking everywhere. So I started my third year at the same university. Here is uh, where you find things concerning third year. So this is where you find my results. Somewhere, somewhere. <laughs> This is my favorite of all classes. This is my class where I did uh, most of my third year lessons. Unfortunately, it's school, but this is the class. It carries so much memories. That's the university where I finished my studies from. I really liked being at USO. I really liked everything about the university. I liked the system. The system was a bit different from the university where I did my first year, which was Oran 1. But with time, I kind of got to understand it, and yeah, so that's basically my academic life slash history in Algeria. So yeah, I just thought I should share that with you guys because I am actually at the end of my road, and I'm going to be leaving this place soon. I actually feel very emotional, but honestly speaking, this is like one thing I've waited for my whole life to just finish and get out of this place. So yeah. I really hope that you guys enjoyed knowing a little bit about my history or my academic history in Algeria and seeing everywhere I have learned, seeing um, all the universities and all the schools I've been to in my four years in Algeria. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe if you are not yet a subscriber. I will be seeing you guys on my next video. Bye.